Our next step is going to be to remove some of the excess around the margins and do a little bit of carving. You see we've got pretty decent detail from our pre-operative model, so there should be not too much carving to do. So I'm going to start and just remove excess around the margins and I'm using my magnification so I can get very close and precise with the marginal fit. Now keep in mind too if I make a little mistake, if I carve a little bit too much away from the margin, I can use the add-on material uh, to edit that or correct that. Tough Temp is one, one of the unique features of Tough Temp is when, when you purchase the, uh, the material you get the add-on and glaze with it as a package and oftentimes uh, you need to use the add-on material to make minor corrections either at the margins or or elsewhere. As far as the carving, you'll notice that a little bit difference in the chemistry from Tough Temp. This is not a bisacryl, so you can see how it powders like acrylic actually when carving it. And the uniqueness of this chemistry is that you'll be able to bend a little bit before it breaks. One of the downfalls on bisacryl, particularly on long span bridges, is the fact that material is very brittle. Tough Temp will remind you a little bit more along the fashions of a methyl methacrylate, which would bend a little bit before it breaks. So I'm going to use a diamond disc and just create some separation between the units. Now the final restorations are all going to be single units, but for convenience, most of the time what we will do is splint these units together in the provisional phase. So I'm going to simulate facial embrasures here a little bit. Opening up the gingival embrasure on the facial aspect. Just to give a little bit further differentiation of the single units in the temporary. We got a little bit of differentiation here. Now normally I would use a sandpaper disc to further refine. I don't have one here in the kit so I'm going to switch to a finer uh, grade diamond disc and smooth a little bit. Facial embrasure first. Gingival embrasure. Notice how nicely the material is carving. See, sometimes bisacryls can get a little gooey and sticky when they're in, in the presence of the heat generated by the burr or handpiece. But uh, again, this material behaves a little bit more like traditional methyl methacrylates in that respect. And you can see I'm just differentiating in the uh, embrasure areas. 